eight o'clock guys boeing is under intense scrutiny this morning after faa audits reportedly uncovered numerous problems with the way its 737 max jets are built the audits coming amid recent plane mishaps and now the sudden death of a boeing whistleblower nbc's tom costello joins us he's got the very latest on this hey tom good morning Good morning to you. 62-year-old John Barnett was found dead on Friday in Charleston, South Carolina. Police there say they are investigating. The coroner, though, calls it an apparent self-inflicted gunshot. Barnett left Boeing back in 2017 after working for more than 30 years as a quality control manager at Boeing. Over the years, he'd taken legal action against the company, claiming he was retaliated against for raising safety concerns. In 2019, we interviewed Barnett. He accused Boeing of having a hurry-up culture, pushing planes out the door before they've been thoroughly checked. His death comes as the New York Times reports Boeing failed 33 out of 89 FAA audits since the door plug incident on that 737 MAX 9 that grounded the fleet back in January. 33 of 89 audit failures. NBC News has not reviewed the slide presentation that was reviewed by the Times. Spirit Aerosystems, which makes the fuselage for the plane, also failed several audits. And in one case, auditors saw mechanics using a hotel key card to check a door seal. Boeing is now in talks to buy Spirit. In a statement, Boeing tells NBC News, we continue to implement immediate changes and develop a comprehensive action plan to strengthen safety and quality and build the confidence of our customers and their passengers. All of this as the spotlight very much remains on Boeing. Hold it.